Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Haja Cooks. Today I won't be cooking. <laughs> I'm showing you my little garden. Well, I'm showing you because I got quite a few requests of my subscribers asking me about my grass and my little uh, garden there. But before I tell you the story, let me just go in and show you. Okay, that's Abhi the Yasin watching Fatima's video. Please, Fatima. <laughs> Let's go out again. So, where do I start? I've always been over, you know, having some sort of little garden. Because my dad loves, loves, loves gardening. And we grew up in Mannenberg and we lived in a court. Yeah? And um, there wasn't much grounds for, not actually any, we just had a little yard. So that couldn't be done there, but once we moved to Mitchell's Plain, my father also tried when we lived in, in Westridge to do something, but that was also a really small piece. <laughs> but when we moved to Strandfontein, the house was surrounded, it was a freestanding house, and it was surrounded by um, grounds that he can actually now cultivate and plant grass and plant some flowers and trees and that was so amazing for us to have that and I just loved it and I remember um, being the keen one, the most keen one to go and wet the garden <laughs> and I just loved it, I just love, I don't know the feeling I get being surrounded by greenery you know and nature and as you can see here in Mitchell's Plain where I live Opposite me, it's, it's a school, and then it's just, yeah, that there. And behind the school, there's a evil, it's called Lookout Hill. That is, and then you'll find the beach there, Manandi Beach. So, let me tell you how my garden started. Now here, there was grass here many years ago when I moved in here. After a few years, I had some grass. But now about how many years? How many years ago was the water restrictions there? Four years, five years ago or something? I'm not sure. I, I speak under correction. But we were under water restrictions because of we had severe drought here. And then we couldn't really, you know, continue with our little garden and it just there was in the it ended up with the sand here sand 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 barren dry and then after a few years now that um, water restrictions it was lifted and it rained we had very good seasons with with rain and our dams were full and then we were allowed to start again and then i thought okay let's do this and uh, myself and Abby went to Macro and we bought the grass um, seed. And I can't remember how much it was, but that was about a year ago. A year ago, no, Yasin? A year ago, yes. And um, we cleared up and planted the seeds and threw on some um, compost that we bought at the Ottery Hearts uh, Nursery there. We got some compost there and then we started you know just seeing to it and, and uh, I would wet the grass and keep it clean and we would you know just see to it and every month we would buy more compost and and just get the the, the soil liquor you know full of um, the niceties that it needs the food <laughs> that it needs and as the grass started to grow 
we threw on some fertilizer and um, and it didn't look like this it did not look like this at all it took quite a while to get it like this but that consistency got it got us to what we see now and this is just amazing and my main aim was and I don't know if you can see was to have this year so that my children and my grandson my family can come and relax and just enjoy it I'm sitting on here with a picnic blanket and an umbrella and just enjoy it and so basically every month I would buy so three bags of compost and cover it and cut again and have it cut and have it cleaned out all the little weed stuff here but believe me I'm not very very clued up with it I just did the basics and whatever plants I saw that I liked I would buy it <laughs> but I will, I will ask if it's for shade or no shade or it can last long in the Sun that was the basic questions that I would have or that they would explain to me and they are extremely helpful and knowledgeable at the uh, Hearts Nursery in Ottery. But this is really something that I enjoy doing and I'm extremely proud of it. It's a very small piece. I don't care. It's my piece. It's my piece of greenery for my family and friends and for me to enjoy. And I just love it. But you must keep your hand on it. Keep it, you know, the weed out. Give it some food. Salam, how are you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And um, keep it short. Have it cut. During the winter, I, I lick a pile up the, the, the compost and some white sand to just protect the grass. Yeah. And to think there was nothing here absolutely nothing and why I'm sharing this video is that you can if you like this and you feel oh where can I start just start with the basics you know get your your seeds planted if you have a small patch a bigger patch do some research ask the people at the nursery what do I do next you know and uh, information is key here just have the right information and this is just a basic this is very basic but it does wonders for my soul I sit here every morning and I garden I mean I wet the garden and that is my time you know where I just relax and and meditate and think and and but liquor it's just a calming feeling and I love every minute of it I hope this video was some sort of inspiration for you to start your little garden <laughs> and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!